Imagine discovering that the key to transforming your toughest challenges into your greatest moments of growth was revealed over 2,000 years ago. Picture yourself navigating life's storms with a calm so steady nothing could shake your inner peace. As the Buddha wisely said, the mind is everything. What you think, you become. What if you could tap into the power of your mind to turn every challenge into an opportunity? Sounds like a superpower, right? Today, we'll explore ancient Buddhist principles that can help make this a reality. 1. Embracing obstacles as opportunities In Buddhism, obstacles aren't just seen as barriers or setbacks. They're viewed as valuable opportunities for personal growth. Instead of feeling overwhelmed or discouraged by challenges, Buddhism teaches us to shift our perspective and view these struggles as chances to evolve. Every difficulty, no matter the size, holds a lesson that can make us stronger, wiser, and more resilient. By facing challenges with an open mind and a positive attitude, we can turn them into stepping stones toward a more enlightened and fulfilling life. 2. Living in the Present Moment Core teaching of Buddhism is the importance of living fully in the present, a practice known as mindfulness. Too often we're caught up in worries about the future or regrets from the past, which leads to stress and robs us of the ability to enjoy life as it happens. By focusing on what is happening right now, whether it's a conversation, a meal, or simply breathing, we can experience life with greater clarity and presence. Mindful living helps us let go of distractions and anxiety, allowing us to find peace, joy, and meaning in the here and now. It's about being fully engaged with the present moment and appreciating every detail. Number three, developing emotional resilience. Emotional resilience, or the ability to face life's challenges without being overwhelmed by negative emotion, is central to maintaining inner peace in Buddhism. Rather than letting emotions like anger, fear, or sadness take control, Buddhism teaches us to observe these feelings without getting caught up in them. Through mindfulness and self-awareness, we learn to respond to difficulties with calmness and clarity rather than reacting impulsively. This isn't about suppressing emotions but understanding them and choosing how to act. Over time, this practice builds emotional strength, helping us stay composed even during life's storms. 4. Cultivating Self-Discipline Self-discipline is the foundation for personal growth and success, and in Buddhism, it's essential for a balanced and meaningful life. Developing self-discipline means having the ability to control impulses, stay committed to your goals, and consistently make choices that align with your values. It's about building healthy habits, whether through regular meditation, mindful eating, or sticking to a routine. Self-discipline helps you resist distractions, overcome procrastination, and stay focused on what truly matters. In Buddhism, this discipline isn't about rigidly following rules, but about building the inner strength to live with purpose and integrity. Number 5. Letting go of what others think. Buddhism teaches that true freedom comes from within, and one path to this freedom is by not being overly concerned with others' opinions. We often spend too much time worrying about how we're perceived, which leads to stress, anxiety, and losing touch with our true selves. Buddhism encourages us to seek inner validation, recognizing that our worth isn't defined by external opinions or societal expectations. By letting go of the need for approval, we can live more authentically, making decisions that align with our values rather than trying to meet others' expectations. This doesn't mean being insensitive to others, but prioritizing your inner peace and happiness. When you stop worrying about what others think, you're free to live a life that's true to who you are. 6. Release the past for a fuller life. Living a fulfilling life requires letting go of the past. Holding on to old regrets, failures, or even positive memories can weigh us down, making it difficult to fully experience the present. Buddhism teaches us the importance of living in the moment. By freeing ourselves from past experiences, we open the door to personal growth and new opportunities. Releasing the past allows us to stop living in old patterns and embrace the present with greater joy. 7. Embrace the lessons. Move forward. 
Letting go of the past doesn't mean forgetting or ignoring what happened. Instead, it's about learning from it without letting it define us. We can take the lessons and move forward without being tied to what once was. Holding on to past successes can also hinder growth, making it hard to embrace new challenges. By accepting the impermanence of past events, we can live more freely and happily in the present. 8. Avoid stagnation from past success. While celebrating past achievements is important, clinging to them can lead to stagnation. Too much attachment to old successes can make us resist new opportunities or change. Letting go of these attachments helps us to stay in the flow of life, where we're open to new experiences and continuous growth. 9. Building Mental Strength Mental strength is crucial for navigating life's ups and downs with resilience and clarity. In Buddhism, building mental strength means training the mind to remain calm, focused, and balanced even in difficult situations. Meditation and mindfulness are key practices that help strengthen the mind. Meditation teaches you to quiet the mind and let go of unnecessary worries, while mindfulness helps you stay present and reduce the impact of negative emotions. Letting go of the need to control what's beyond your power is another key aspect of building mental strength. By accepting what we cannot control, we reduce mental struggles and live more peacefully. 10. Cultivate a positive mindset. Buddhist teachings often encourage the practice of loving-kindness meditation, where you generate compassion and goodwill toward yourself and others. Over time, these practices help shift your focus from negativity to positivity and resilience. Mental strength also involves emotional regulation, acknowledging emotions without letting them control your actions. Through mindfulness, you can observe your emotions and prevent them from driving destructive behaviors. 11. Embrace impermanence. Impermanence, or anicca, is a core teaching in Buddhism that reminds us that everything in life is in constant flux. Nothing stays the same forever. Our emotions, relationships, successes, and failures are all temporary. Embracing impermanence can initially feel unsettling, but it teaches us to appreciate each moment fully. Rather than clinging to the idea of permanence, we can learn to live with greater acceptance, knowing that change is the only constant. When we understand that life is always changing, we become more adaptable, appreciate the present more deeply, and reduce our suffering caused by unrealistic expectations of stability. 12. Let go of attachment. Attachment is one of the main causes of suffering, according to Buddhist teachings. We often cling to people, objects, ideas, or outcomes, hoping they'll bring lasting happiness. However, these attachments can lead to anxiety, fear, and disappointment when things don't go as we expect. Letting go of attachment means learning to enjoy life's pleasures and engage in relationships without becoming dependent on them for our sense of happiness. It's about recognizing that nothing in life is permanent and embracing life's natural flow without clinging to the things or people we desire. 13. Practice gratitude daily. Gratitude is a powerful and transformative practice in Buddhism. Practicing gratitude daily shifts your focus from what's missing to what you already have. It fosters appreciation for life's blessings, whether big or small, and helps you see the interconnectedness of all things. A daily gratitude practice, such as writing down three things you're grateful for each day, can train your mind to focus on the positive. Gratitude teaches us contentment, helping us realize that true wealth is not about having more but appreciating what we have. It also strengthens our compassion for others, opening our hearts and making us more empathetic and generous. 14. Prioritize inner peace. Inner peace is the foundation of a balanced and fulfilling life. Buddhism teaches that true peace comes from within, not from external achievements or material possessions. Practices like meditation and mindfulness help cultivate this inner peace by quieting the mind and teaching us to observe our thoughts and emotions without being controlled by them. Prioritizing inner peace also means letting go of toxic relationships, negative thought patterns, or anything that disturbs your tranquility. A mindset of acceptance is crucial. Learning to accept life as it is, 
rather than resisting it, leads to a calmer, more peaceful existence. And 15. Live with simplicity. In a world that values busyness, simplicity can be a powerful way to maintain inner peace. Simplifying your life, whether by decluttering your environment or reducing unnecessary commitments, frees you from the constant pursuit of more and allows you to focus on what truly matters. Non-attachment is also key to maintaining peace. It's about not clinging to things that are beyond your control, whether they are desires, outcomes, or opinions. The more you simplify and let go, the more space you create for inner peace to flourish. By embracing these 10 principles, you can transform your life from within. Start incorporating them into your daily routine and watch as your life begins to change in meaningful ways. If you found this helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content on living a mindful, fulfilling life. Let us know which principle resonated with you the most. Disrespect is an inevitable part of life that can stir up feelings of frustration, hurt, and anger. While it's a common challenge we all face, how we respond to it shapes our emotional well-being and relationships. In moments of disrespect, it's easy to let negative emotions take control. But what if we could learn to navigate these moments with wisdom and peace? Buddhism, with its profound teachings from the Buddha, offers valuable insights into handling disrespect in a way that fosters inner harmony and resilience. The Buddha's teachings have guided countless individuals towards peace and enlightenment, and they can provide us with the tools to transform how we handle situations where we feel disrespected. By practicing mindfulness, non-attachment, compassion, and forgiveness, we can rise above the negativity and create a more harmonious life. In this exploration, we'll dive into seven key lessons from Buddhism that offer practical and transformative ways to respond to disrespect, helping us build a life rooted in inner peace and understanding. Lesson 1. Practicing Non-Attachment A core principle of Buddhism is that attachment is the root of human suffering. This teaching is especially relevant when we feel disrespected. Often, our negative reactions, anger, hurt, and defensiveness are triggered because we are deeply attached to our ego, our self-image, and our need for validation. When someone disrespects us, it challenges these attachments stirring up emotions that can cloud our judgment and increase our suffering. Non-attachment doesn't mean suppressing or denying our emotions, but rather observing them without letting them control us. It invites us to let go of our attachment to the ego, realizing that our self-worth isn't defined by the opinions or actions of others. By practicing non-attachment, we begin to see the impermanent nature of our emotions and gain the ability to respond to disrespect with calm and clarity rather than impulsive reactions. This process is not a one-time effort, it's a lifelong practice. Each time we feel disrespected, we can choose to mindfully observe our emotions without letting them define us. Over time, this practice leads to greater emotional freedom, helping us navigate difficult interactions with grace. As the Buddha wisely said, attachment leads to suffering. By letting go of our attachments, we liberate ourselves from the cycle of emotional pain, allowing peace and resilience to grow within us. Lesson 2. Practicing Forgiveness Forgiveness is a challenging but essential practice for maintaining our mental and emotional well-being. When we hold on to anger, resentment, or a desire for revenge, we harm ourselves more than the person who disrespected us. As the Buddha famously said, holding on to anger is like drinking poison and expecting the other person to die. This powerful metaphor reminds us that when we cling to negative emotions, we are the ones who suffer the most. Forgiveness doesn't mean excusing or condoning disrespectful behavior. It's about freeing ourselves from the emotional chains that bind us to the pain of the past. This process takes time, as we need to acknowledge the hurt we've experienced and allow ourselves the space to heal. However, as we gradually let go of our grievances, we make room for inner peace and emotional freedom. Through forgiveness, we release the toxic emotions that weigh us down, 
ultimately promoting healthier relationships and a more compassionate outlook on life. By practicing this profound act of self-compassion, we find that letting go of negativity is a powerful step toward personal growth and emotional liberation. Lesson 3. Letting Go of Judgment Judgment is another significant source of suffering in human relationships. When we experience disrespect, it's natural to judge the person who wronged us, labeling them as rude, inconsiderate, or even malicious. However, Buddhism teaches that this kind of judgment only deepens our suffering. By focusing on the faults of others, we perpetuate a cycle of negativity and division. Instead of judging, Buddhism encourages us to practice empathy and understanding. When someone disrespects us, it's often a reflection of their own struggles, frustrations, or pain. By considering the situation from their perspective, we can develop compassion instead of anger. The Buddha reminds us, with our thoughts, we make the world. When we choose to let go of judgment and approach others with understanding, we create a more compassionate and harmonious reality for ourselves and those around us. Letting go of judgment is a gift to ourselves as much as it is to others. It frees us from the burden of negativity and allows us to approach difficult situations with clarity and peace. By cultivating this practice, we contribute to our own emotional well-being and to the creation of a more understanding world. Lesson 4. Cultivating Compassion Compassion is at the heart of Buddhist teachings, and it is one of the most transformative practices we can adopt when dealing with disrespect. Compassion, in Buddhism, goes beyond sympathy or empathy. It involves a deep desire to alleviate the suffering of others. When someone disrespects us, it's important to remember that their actions may stem from their own inner pain or challenges. Instead of reacting with anger or resentment, practicing compassion invites us to pause and recognize that the person who disrespected us is likely struggling in their own way. This doesn't mean condoning their behavior, but it allows us to respond with kindness and understanding rather than perpetuating a cycle of negativity. Additionally, cultivating compassion for ourselves is just as important. When we feel disrespected, it's easy to fall into negative self-talk, blaming ourselves or feeling unworthy. Self-compassion reminds us that we are human and that it's okay to experience vulnerability and hurt. By treating ourselves with the same kindness we would extend to others, we foster a deeper sense of emotional resilience. The Buddha's teaching if you want others to be happy, practice compassion. If you want to be happy, practice compassion, encapsulates the importance of compassion in fostering both personal well-being and the well-being of those around us. Lesson 5. Finding Inner Peace Inner peace is a central concept in Buddhism, and it's something that comes from within, rather than from external circumstances. When faced with disrespect, it's easy to let external events dictate our emotions and reactions. However, the practice of mindfulness helps us reconnect with the peace that resides inside us, regardless of the chaos in the outside world. Mindfulness, the practice of being fully present in the moment without judgment, allows us to observe our thoughts and emotions without being swept away by them. Instead of reacting impulsively to disrespect, Mindfulness helps us create space between our emotions and our actions, enabling us to respond with wisdom and clarity. As the Buddha said, peace comes from within. Do not seek it without. By cultivating mindfulness and turning inward, we can find the tranquility and resilience we need to navigate the challenges of life with grace and equanimity. Lesson 6. Practicing Self-Care when dealing with disrespect, it's easy to focus on the actions of others and neglect our own well-being. However, practicing self-care is crucial during difficult times. Self-care is about nurturing your body, mind, and spirit so that you are better equipped to handle challenging situations with calm and clarity. In the face of disrespect, self-care might involve taking time for activities that bring you joy and relaxation, such as meditating, spending time in nature, reading, or connecting with loved ones. These practices help ground you 
and provide the emotional nourishment needed to respond with wisdom rather than reacting out of hurt or anger. The Buddha's reminder, you yourself, as much as anybody in the entire universe, deserve your love and affection, highlights the importance of taking care of ourselves. Self-care is not selfish, it's an act of self-compassion that strengthens our ability to navigate difficult situations with resilience and peace. Lesson 7. Choosing Love Over Hatred Perhaps the most powerful and challenging lesson from Buddhism is to choose love over hatred, even in moments of disrespect. When someone wrongs us, our instinct may be to react with anger or frustration. However, Buddhism teaches that responding with negativity only perpetuates a cycle of suffering. Instead, we are encouraged to respond with love and kindness, breaking the cycle of negativity and contributing to healing and positive change. The Buddha's wisdom, hatred does not cease through hatred at any time. Hatred ceases through love, reminds us that love is the only force capable of transforming hostility into harmony. Choosing love doesn't mean tolerating disrespectful behavior, it means responding with equanimity and understanding, acknowledging that the person may be acting out of their own suffering. By choosing love, we create the possibility for reconciliation, healing, and growth. It's not an easy practice, but it is one that has the power to transform not only our own lives, but also the world around us. Conclusion A path to inner peace and resilience. Buddhist teachings offer profound guidance on how to handle disrespect with grace, wisdom, and compassion. By practicing non-attachment, forgiveness, letting go of judgment, cultivating compassion, finding inner peace, prioritizing self-care, and choosing love, we can transform our responses to disrespect and create a life of emotional resilience and inner harmony. The journey toward mastering these lessons is ongoing and requires patience and dedication. However, as we integrate these principles into our daily lives, we will find that we are better equipped to handle the challenges of human interactions with peace and clarity, ultimately leading us to a deeper connection with ourselves and the world around us. Through these timeless teachings, we can cultivate a life rooted in love, compassion, and understanding, no matter what challenges come our way. If you found this helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content on living a mindful, fulfilling life. Let us know which principle resonated with you, the path.